me because as a bard, I'm not like a fully dedicated fighter. So yeah, somebody's if, you gonna... can, if you can rally other people to do that for you, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah and cool. and because you can choose like whoever's in the best position to be most Black effective. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to be up there on the front line. You can just be like, and eh, you can whack for me. Yeah. Don't don't do that to me. I like to attack when I want to attack. <laughs> so when I take the attack action on my turn, I can forego one of my attacks and use a bonus action to direct one of my companions to strike. When I do, choose a friendly creature who can see or hear you and expend one superiority die. That creature can immediately use a reaction to make one weapon attack, adding the superiority die to the attack's damage roll. Dude, that is it's sweet! Nice. And Martin, it said can, so from Lorcan's perspective, she's not being forced to. Yeah, it's well... He like I, points out something like, "Hey, there's an opening. Go for it." And so Lorcan could take advantage of. It. Said, I'd oh, be a poor, I'd be a poor target for that anyway because I don't use weapon attacks. So oh, I'd be, true. Yeah. I don't even I don't even carry a weapon. So that that I'd be the worst person for you to target with. Well, it was mostly Faramis or you know provided I didn't know what Joe was creating at the time. So you know, whatever. Joe would Joe would be a good circumstance for that too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe not as not maybe not as Eula, but now. Yeah. Well, as, as Eula, if I uh, no, that would have been great because sneak attack, yo. Yeah, you know, that's an extra way to get sneak attack. Yeah. It's yeah. Not on my turn. Yeah. Well, you can only still do one sneak attack per round, but if you hadn't had an opportunity to get it in that round. Right. Right. You know that would be. An opportunity. Yep. No, it's a pretty useful thing. The combat maneuvers are good. You have to be careful about which ones you pick. I feel like some are not as good as others. Mm -hmm. Um. I like, Some of them are like, I like Rye Post. I've got that one. Yeah, I like that uh, one a lot. It, it fits the duelist theme quite a bit. So, Okay, um, I'm going to go Let's ahead and roll it. to attack. Okay. So, Billy, are you like a bard? Like, are you a swashbuckler? Like, you, you're you like, what's his face? Mortar the stick? Yeah, Elon? <laughs> yeah. Are you I, Elon? I, are you oh, Elon? my God. I buckle quite a bit of swash, guys. Nice. <laughs> it only makes sense. I'm waiting for the goddamn clown puppet. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to go that far. Does an 18 hit? An 18 does hit, yep. Okay. Roll that big, beautiful damage. 10 damages! Is that kitty I hear? Okay. Yeah. And. Yeah. Oh. Promise is going to attack. Ooh. That's through a door. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have advantage? Is that what that symbol on the dude means? Um, it doesn't even matter if he has advantage. That it's, guy was... I think that guy was prone. Well, then he would have advantage. Not but that it, it matters. Yeah, he, he rolled a natural two with advantage. Hey, he didn't <laughs> roll a natural one. Didn't roll a natural one. <laughs> Fair enough. Promise you, butt monkey. <laughs> Alrighty. So that is... Marcus's That's my go. turn. Marcus, go! Okay. No what does Marcus joke. fight with? Do what? No, what dual, Marcus fight with? dual lances? Yes. Oh. <laughs> he dual wields medium sized lances. This shouldn't it, even be as possible. As a small guy. creature. <laughs> I just want to point out this shouldn't even be, possible, not be possible. He wields one of them, let alone two of them. <laughs> so, what does it look like? It's just like him walking around on spear stilts? No, he's, that, he's, he's flying on the uh, Pteranodon. So he's riding a flying dinosaur wielding dual lances. Yeah, I kind of imagine him having, like, lance arms. Maybe yeah. Like... Lance arms strong. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> Get that out of here. <laughs> um, Corey, the yep. uh, picture... Oh, I guess it's in a handout. I have it. I got it. I saw that, yeah. yeah. I forgot, I forgot what you're going to do now. Except with two lances. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> When okay. Joe sent that to me, I told him he was a liar. I was like, there's no way a character like that is coming in. Alright, so I'm gonna swoop down to this dude. Alright, when you get... When you swoop down, that triggers an effect. Oh, nice. shit. Boom! A fire effect? It is a fire effect. Everybody... Was there a fire, was there a fire animation? Is that what you said that? Yep. I couldn't see that either. Aww. Do you guys see this fire animation? Oh, I see it. No. I do. Unplug yeah, your second gonna, monitor. Yeah, I'm just going to say screw the second monitor for now. You're missing good stuff. Okay. You're All missing right, what on. JJ's paying for every month, Joe. I'm going to refresh the page. Make a dexterity save. 
You three. Dexterity. I don't do those. Well, yeah, not not them. Farm. Just these for. Oh, sweet! You yeah. said everyone, so thankfully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was struck by a Z. Oh, that fire. sucks. Man. Yep. That's rough. All right. I have a long history of blowing goats. <laughs> 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 Okay. Oh, oh, Billy. Billy nothing, nothing's as bad as Will Wheaton's natural ones, if you've ever watched him play. I've, I, I'm going to have to. I didn't know he had better natural ones than me. I can't even win a natural once. I think he rolled like six in a three-hour session. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Marcus and Ambrosius. Oh, yeah. Ambrosius is going to have to roll, too. Um, oh, shit. And... Is that your first okay. name, Ambrosius? Yes. And Ramos. Uh, hold on, let me figure out what Ambrosius is. Reflex saves, or dex save. Alright. Ramos makes it. Marcus maybe makes it. Alpha fails. Skelly makes it. I'm gonna bet. Skelly makes it. Skelly skeleton, they kiss skeleton, they can't attack. Nope. No, Yay! Skelly skeleton! Jesus. Uh, that's weak. Sweet. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. Oh, natural natural one. Uh. Ambrosius. Alright. <laughs> if you didn't make a 15. Ambrosius only gets a plus 2? 20 damage. It's either plus 2 or possibly plus 5. It depends on whether. And so I'd check with. I was going to ask if it mattered. Um, so matter. we'll get into that later, but yeah. yeah. I'm not sure if he gets his proficiency bonus on it. It depends on if he's proficient. If he's a fucking flying dinosaur, dexterity should be the one thing he does have. Right, well, he's got a, he's got a 15 dex, which is where the plus two comes from. So it's just a question of, but yeah, natural he still, one. He still would have felt it, yeah. Yeah, natural one's going to suck it either way. All right, if you yeah. didn't make a 15, 15 is the DC, you take 20 damage, else you take... Oh. What happened? All right, so Billy, fireball, like fire explodes from there. Does it look like a fireball? It looks like a fireball. What the fuck? Okay. All right. So now, Marcus, continue your attackage. Oh, that's me. Sorry. Yes. Uh, <laughs> not used to the new character name. Give me. Okay, so so I do get advantage on that dude with the broken back. Is that correct? Uh, yep. Okay. I told you, Joe. You should have named him Martin. That would have made it extra confusing. <laughs> All right, twenty-three to hit. Nice. Yep. That'll hit. Thirteen damage, and nice. I will use my bonus action to do a wield. Oh, Crit. natural 20! Si oh, only 16 damage. Man, would, that was lame. I would imagine you'd want to be right here, Marcus. Oh, yes, yes, sorry. Thank you. We have range. All right, so... The point of having reach. He goes down. Nice! Okay. And did you, you want to fly away? Moving? Yeah. I kind of want to, but... I said I was up 20 feet, and so I think that pretty much makes that made me that the 60 feet to get there. Okay. Durka? Ah! Uh, Durka is going to first see what she can see by moving out here. Do you have so a she... Do you have a torch, Durka? No, I have dark vision. Oh, okay. Us in the back are pretty cool. Aha! Aha! What, 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 what are you? What, what are you? What are you doing over there? <laughs> what are you doing over there? Huh? All right. Well, let's see. What do we want to do here? Now that I know those guys are there, um, I will tell you. I will. Durka walks over there. I goes, "Aha! I see you now," <laughs> and tells you guys that there are three people over there. One, the fuck? They're kind of shadowy, but Jay, Jay, stop moving people around in my dark vision. Oh my bad. <laughs> what? 
I have 120 foot dark vision. I can see people's moving. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, you'd have seen some people come out of the water. <laughs> water? Oh, wow. So I tell you guys that there are three people over there. <laughs> there are four people to the north, by the way. Damn it. All right. Good to know. Lobstrosities? I can't tell. They're in my shadowy part of my vision, <laughs> but there are four moving things. Okay. All right. Well, Durka. Ooh, that's probably too far. How far? I'm like I'm like sixty feet from them. If right? it helps, Joe, I did not hear them say "data ching, data chung." <laughs> it's like fifty-five, fifty. Oh yeah, I'm good. Okay. So let's see. Let's go with where. What is this thing? It's a thirty foot. Yeah. Okay. So Durka casts hypnotic pattern. Okay. Oh. Aren't these actually like skeletons and undead things? Does hypnotic pattern not work on undead things? I don't know. I, I I'm not I'm not an arcane caster, even though I am. <laughs> yeah. So like the undead don't have like, they're not immune to like mind affecting stuff anymore yeah, they, it's not they like removed that this is an illusion anyway it's not mind affecting I don't think so uh it, it uh <clears throat> Durka cast hypnotic pattern boom she makes a little buzzing sound twirls her fingers around and then boom tie dye right over here <laughs> alright so who is it is a 30 it's a 30 foot cube so, so everybody, everybody in that area. Yeah, everybody, all four of these dudes, and okay. I'm gonna center it. I'm gonna center it so that this skeleton right here is at the bottom left corner of the cube, just in okay. case there's people out of my vision over in this area. Okay. I was gonna say, is is Marcus included in this? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. The wall ends. Okay. And what is the effect? It is a 30 foot cube. They have to make a DC yeah, saving 16, save for no success, and if they don't succeed. And they are stunned? No. I forget. What they're the, what the, they're I forget essentially what the, asleep, but they're not really. Yeah, they're, I forget what it is. I forget, let me look what the condition name is. is enthralled? Enthralled? No, they're not enthralled. They are charmed. And, they, and while they're charmed, they're incapacitated and have a speed of zero. Incapacitated plus speed zero, which is probably redundant, but... It's true. What incapacitated creature can move? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably not many of them. All right, so you got all of them. Yes! Are you serious? Yep. <laughs> Fuckers! Well, none of them out all have good wisdom saves <laughs> at all. <laughs> nice. Okay, so, yeah. Um, I will tell you guys, hey, uh, these guys are out of commission for like a minute, so... Uh, feel free to like wail on them simultaneously because they'll wake up when you damage them. So I should go for the four that you guys can't see. Yeah, we Which should probably ones? take care of those. What? Alright. I'm sorry. I'm going to start the is... counter on me. Here, here, here. I'll put it in language you understand. There is Infinity XLS that is north. <laughs> 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 Nice. All right, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Durka does a little dance. Uh, so uh, Ramos uh, moves over uh, here, uh, and he <laughs> says he's going to ready an action uh, for the first person to attack that. He will attack it. Okay. Sounds good. Lorcan. Okay. Uh, let me look at my range here. Wait. Can I tell Dirk? Can I tell oh, Ramos to? Can I tell Ramos? Can he see those other dudes? He can't see them, can he? Um, no, I don't know. I don't know can, whether he can or not. He can so it barely matter. see one it of them. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I don't them. know that he can see them or not, but I'm going to tell him the dudes in the dark look da more dangerous. So go, let's go attack them first. The dudes. JJ, in the dark. you you Where? can see my blip, right? JJ. He's like, ah, oh, which ones? Yes. Okay, so yeah, that dude at my, the top looks most dangerous. My hunger of Hadrar has 150 foot radius. Okay. So I'm radius actually gonna, or reach. Uh, reach. Uh, range is 150 feet. Okay. So I'm basically going to create a um, 
a 20 foot radius sphere of blackness okay that I'm gonna emanate from uh, it's hard to tell what square is our squares and which one is the squares on the map but somewhere in this general area okay a 20 foot radius that's gonna cover all four of them a shape that is a circle yeah 20 foot whoa Ooh, I can see some water up there. All right, shape. Draw shape. Why can I not make a rectangle? You have to hold some button hold to do alt. that. Yeah, no, alt for a circle. Uh, it's a oh. foot, you say? Yeah, it's really hard with the like shadow illumination, but somewhere in this area, there, I want a twenty foot that would cover the four of them. Twenty foot radius or twenty foot diameter? Twenty foot radius. Okay. Centered on a point within range, which would be roughly around where I'm centering my gotcha. blip right now. Like I said, I can see the black of the graphic, but I can't see the grid of the map. Well, that'll just have to do. What? What layer did I put that? Yeah, lower it a little bit more, as I wanted all four of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to. I just, I can't somehow seem to select it now. Is it on? Check your layer. No, I, I got it now. So I figured out if I plug my second monitor in and then refresh the page, it's all okay. Nice. <laughs> what? That the? is a that is a more, much more interesting bug now. Mm-hmm. Before it just seemed like it might be like a graphics problem, but that's definitely some sort of software bug. Oh yeah, so lower it a little bit more, JJ. I, I want the edge of the Jesus northern Christ. half of the radius to be where they're at. And honestly, Corey, it, it might even be a bug. No, don't move them. <laughs> no, I have to, Martin. It's like I can't select the <laughs> ring without selecting them for some reason. Sorry. The idea is that like so, when they're in the ring, when they start their turn, they're going to take two d six cold damage. At okay. the end of their turn, if they're still in that range, they take additional damage and have to make a save. So I want them to be at the northern edge of that radius so that if they come towards us and they don't move out, okay. that they're still going to be within the range. Okay. Nice. So that northernmost guy should be at the like topmost corner of my radius. Okay. So they don't take any damage right now, but they will take damage at the start of their turn, and then if they end their turn in this in the circle, they'll take more. Okay. So and it's and it it is magical darkness, so they can only move at half speed unless they can see a magical darkness. Okay. And they're at disadvantage to attack while they're inside it. Okay. And if they can see a magical darkness, they're warlocks, and Martin's going to go into a frenzied rage. Exactly. Okay. That is my turn. I'm not going to move. I'm good where I'm at. All right. Um, and I'm going to go get a beer. Be right back. Da, 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 da. Girl, tends do nothing. Oh, wait. Those guys up there do that. All right. Where did it go, go, girl? Okay. Durka, make a charisma check. What? A charisma check or a save or charisma save? I guess it doesn't really matter. Nope. Okay. Uh, All right, so you are like you're like sitting there and like you kind of like you like like your world kind of like flickers out and um, you find yourself like in like you just looking over this like endless plain, uh, but you you like are um, like you can only really like see this, but you can't like really like move around. All you can really see is just like flowing like blades of you know like wheat and stuff and hmm. you are it's all you can see and you guys that can see especially 
Lorcan. Um, she kind of like uh, blinks out of existence. Who blinked out? Lorcan. No, Durka. No, Durka, Durka. Ah, shit. It's okay, she was at the very, very edge of visibility anyway. I probably I, didn't notice. I may have not even noticed either. If she was behind the cover of those dead bodies, I may have not even noticed. Like, I can only even partly see half of her token, so I'd be looking the other way toward the monsters. As far as I, I know, she just moved out of my sight. This is All one right. thing I love about Roll20 is hearing the different perceptions of what you can yeah. see with your sight. Like, <laughs> hearing what you guys can see and what I can see, like, there's so much of this map I can see right now with 120 foot dark vision. And then hearing you say that, like, that Durko's at the edge of your vision, I'm like, holy shit, she's like barely, like, not out of my, <laughs> she's like right there, <laughs> like in the center of my vision. Oh shit, there's something big coming our way, guys. Where? Is that <sighs> six word? Oh shit, something big coming our, oh shit. That's one word too much. <laughs> coming, period. Yes. Something big coming. <laughs> oh, those guys are moving? All right, so they start their turn. They take 2d6 cold damage. Okay. And they have to make a dexterity saving throw before they move. Okay, so they take seven cold damage, and they need to make a dexterity saving throw each. If they fail, they take an additional 2d6 worth of damage. Okay. And remember, they're moving at half speed because they can't see. All unless right. they can. I am rolling for all of them at once. And what was the... The DC is 16. Okay, so they take 9 more damage. Okay. And da, 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 da. let's see. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> That's a huge bitch. Yeah, there you go. That's what it is. That is a huge bitch. No, use a contraction. That's. No, no, no. I, I want to be able to use it because I want my fifth word to be bitch. So I want to be able to go. <laughs> <laughs> that is a huge Alright. Um, Alpha Rin. Let's see. Billy, that's so, that totally sounds like a Jedi name. I like it. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Might reuse it. Does a 10 hit you, Alpha Nope. Okay. Did somebody hit me with an attack, or what was it? Um, so arrows come flying at you. Does a 24 oh. hit you? Yeah. Uh, is it the guys within my thing? Nope. Like, arrows it... from what direction? You can't tell. Okay. If it's from the guys within my circle, they're a disadvantage. Nope. It is not to them. Okay. So an arrow strikes you for nine damage. Okay. Alpha. Okay. okay. Durka, you're not even there. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Alpha, you go. All right. Uh, did the so arrows... JJ, JJ, just out of curiosity, Durka is literally not there anymore? Literally not there. Can she maintain her concentration on that spell, or would it be broken? Ooh, it would have been broken. Actually, does hypnotic Ooh. pattern require you to do... I thought okay. that was... I thought that I was... Mean, unless it is cross-dimensional. It does. Yeah, it does require oh. concentration for you to maintain it. I'm in a different dimension? Or a different plane. Cross planar. Astral plane it is. It doesn't <laughs> say that it gets broken by <laughs> cross plane, but... <laughs> um, I'm going to say probably most, so. I'm going to say most spells don't, so... Alright. Alright. So, the arrows. Which direction do they come from? I'm assuming they're sticking roll, out of me right now. Roll, they're to hit your chest and, like, you know, armor bounced off. Roll a perception check. Okay. Come on, character sheet. You can open. You can do it. All right. All right. Billy, are you, you playing on your Mac? You know, 
Since my laptop died, I'm stuck with Mac. It's just what uh, I nope. I roll crappy on the Mac, too, have you noticed? Perception will not work. It's pretty standard. Okay, so, but I guess these guys are going to lose Durka's thing. The hypnotic thing. No clue what that means. So this guy is going to come over here and attack Marcus. Does an 18 hit you, Marcus? Joe? Sorry, Marcus. Not, not triggering <laughs> in my head yet. Uh, no, it is not. All right. Oh, shit. Marcus is a badass. Got that full blade. Marcus is wearing full blade. Yep. yep. All right, so this guy is going to come over here and attempt to attack Marcus as well. Does a 23 hit you? That does. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's really hard to not get hit on 23. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll still point and laugh and tell you that your full plate is not up right. to stuff. Take, take 12 damage. If it were made of ice, it would probably have been able to withstand that. <laughs> Just saying. Alright, so now it is Alpha's go. Yay! I'm gonna stab oh, some and, people. And you guys, you guys saw these two. Anybody that can see these guys up here. Which mm -hmm. I lose everybody. Um, like Ramus, the, the two uh, creatures attacked Ramus. And like okay. one of them hit Ramos like a little bit, but those two up there got like multiple attacks. Right. So I'm gonna stabby stab this bottom guy. Okay. Uh, let me take a look at something real quick. Doing his stuff with the things. Come on. Uh. Nah, 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 nah. Hmm. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Uh, huh. Danachum? Danachum. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Uh, I think love trust is friend. Okay. Sure, if we want to attack you. Okay. Um, I'm going to attack this bottom skeleton and then I'm just going to action surge after that. Okay. Does a 10 hit him? No. No. Does a 22 hit him? Yes. Woohoo! Yay. Mac only failed you 50% of the time. Mac fails me all the time. 10 damage. And then action surge. Does an 8 hit him? Ha ha ha. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no. Does a 9 hit him? Uh, no. <laughs> all right, cool. Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna go finish this shit sandwich I started. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark, Marquesius. Alrighty. So I'm going to fly. Prove yourself better than food, Marcus. <laughs> On over to here, and my Pteranodon does not provoke attacks of opportunity. When moving out of range. Okay. Uh, so then, I guess they both look badass. So I'll just attack the upper one. Okay. The one that looks like an ostrich, kind of. The one that looks like a caster. <laughs> yes, that one. The one with the black cloak. But points to Martin for the ostrich. Thing. All right. So That's make right. a perception check when you get close. Oh, when I get close. All right. Perception. See, so yeah. dark and stuff. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So you see, like, 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 a, like he's like, and has like. Oh like shit! Yeah. Gotcha. Damn fucking vampires. All right. Um, that doesn't make him a fiend, though, okay, right? Yeah. So. Uh, so twenty will hit. Fourteen okay. damage. Cool. And then. Bonus action to attack again. 18 will hit. Nice. Only 7 damage. And what kind of damage is that? Piercing. <laughs> so you saw, like, when, like, the you're, pier you're, like, pierced into it, and it, like, 
it like like pierced them and like it like split the flesh but like it didn't seem to like like tear it or rend it hardly or like blood's not going everywhere it was like didn't seem to have as much of an effect you scoundrel <laughs> alright so did you want to fly back I'm assuming which oh. and you probably didn't want to <laughs> yes, get and close you're right I wanted to go there uh, and yes, I will back off to here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't see them before now. I mean, I could have initially remembered about North, but I wasn't thinking about it, so. Well, actually, you're not actually supposed to be able to see them. Oh, okay. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, right. In, you, see, you see a black. They also don't see you. That's the plus. <laughs> yeah. True. They, they it, if Joe, if you'd been hanging out with us long enough, you might think that that might be where I am, even though I'm not. <laughs> right. I mean, you did do the whole like, "Can you see me now?" thing. Yes. But for once, I am not the one in magical darkness. <laughs> Yet, if there wasn't a lobstrosity between me and that, I probably would be in there. <laughs> Damn it! I can't move this fucking thing. There you go. Okay. I, now I can't see them. I should be able to see them. Well, you'll be able to see them soon. <laughs> I can't please everybody. <laughs> All right, Durka. You continue to just, like, wave in the, the land. It's nice. Durka and... thinks in her head. She's like, I'm pretty sure I've been banished to a demiplane. So this is what it feels like when I do this. Huh. All right. Bitches. Ramus, Ramus fights. Um, he like knocks one of them down. Um, you know, like fucks him up pretty good. Um, Lurkon, you go. Okay. Um, I am going to go oh, for. I accidentally moved one of the skelly skeletons. There, I want to maintain cover behind the body of this lobstrosity. But now that I have range, I am going to try to shoot this guy. Okay. Pew pew. All right, a twenty-three will hit. A and that will do damage. So that should do eleven damage, knocking back twenty feet. Yep, the second one, then knocking back. So eleven damage. Okay. And then knock him back to my feet. And I will remain there behind cover. Okay. Alright. On their turn, they did 2d6 damage. Bam, bam, bam. Alright. Ooh. Dang, you're fucking these guys up. Yeah, bitches. <laughs> Wow, especially because there's multiple of them. You're doing like, that was like a, you know, 40 something point damage round. Imagine if it was like actual darkness where it could move. I could like cast it on one of them and they're just like, every time they move, it's like. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right, and then they all have to do the same thing? Uh, only moving? only if they end their move at the end while they're ah, inside it. Okay. So, um, Durka or Marcus. Um, you um, see a whole bunch of guys like start coming out of. Oh. Yeah. So that one guy. Oh. Nope. Damn. Never made it. All right. So I'm gonna go and head and move this back. Chaw. All right. Um. That's my target where I'm moving to. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Marcus. I am going to roll a bunch of attacks. So let's kill Joe's character like we did last time. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's actually how it happened last time. <laughs> no, no, Joe, you're doing it wrong. You're gonna be like, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know how this machine worked. Nineteen? No. Uh, that does. That does. All right. Yes. 12 damage. <clears throat> then this guy 
Don't worry, Marcus. If you fall, we're going to make you into a badass stew. 16 doesn't hit you. <laughs> Correct. Don't worry, baby. You take the you take the bone you. and you throw it into a pot and you make it. You got a stew, baby. Eight damage. <laughs> All right. The white is going to attack you. Seventeen. Nope. Okay. Um, and then the white. Well, we know what they are now, guys. I mean. <laughs> Durka doesn't. That's true. Durka that only sees wheat. All right, and then one guy is going to <laughs> attack you, Marcus. <laughs> oh, Durka! All of a sudden, does a nineteen hit you? <laughs> I'm hearing uh, Louis Armstrong. I see fields of wheat. All right, <laughs> and fields of wheat. <laughs> fields of wheat. All right, so you take more fields of You wheat. take four necrotic damage. Make a <laughs> make a Constitution check, Marcus. And the Constitution. Marcus. <laughs> All right. That's not great. So not a good time to roll a seven, Joe. Your, Can't really. your hit point maximum is reduced by four. Oh, rough. Until you oh, do, do a long rest. Um, and you die if you reach zero hit points. Oh, that... Do I know this? No, oh, you wouldn't know this, but I'm telling okay. you, Joe, as... That is harsh. Can he still Shit. be made into a stew if that happens? Um, no, because he rises 24 hours later as a oh, zombie. Oh, so he, he could be made into a stew, but it would not be good for us. In the chronic stew. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. Okay, then. He's a mouse. And All right, so Ramos, Alpha... Ramos has a long-standing tradition of, like, cooking rats. 18 hits you. <laughs> Alpha. Rin. Oh, uh, does an 18 hit me? Not today. I'm gonna repost. Yes. <laughs> and then, uh, that ability. I gotta say something witty. Um, That's a Jodo ability. You have to. I've got a bone to pick with you. Yes. <laughs> oh no, he is turning into Elon. It was <laughs> a horrible shot. No bones about it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I am not drunk. I hear you talking about drunk people. <laughs> Alright, so you did you repost? I reposted! And, oh, right, uh, and then the other guy is going to attack you. Does Nate hit oh, come you? On. Yes. <laughs> Bullshit. Yep. I will let the laser flow through me. All right, eight damage. Neat. Okay, Ramos it knocks down this white and I mean this guy and messes him up. Um. Okay. So. Ramus, you guys see Ramus like swinging and fighting, and he kind of like goes like still. Oh, and meow, meow. Kitty, and what a jerk! I love him. Dirka, you snap back to the cave. Sweet. What? Right. Really? Ramus broke his concentration. Yes. That white couldn't have been concentrating. That white couldn't have been the one that cast. Game so me. what you knew, what if so a caster like Lorcan probably would notice that one effect happened on somebody else while someone else lost an effect. Yeah. Yeah. He dropped gonna, concentration on me. I'm, a, I'm gonna be like, whoa, what the fuck, Durka? <laughs> okay, and as Durka comes back in, this crab comes over. God damn it! You attracted the lobstrosity. <laughs> Good job, Durka. And um, attempts to grapple Durka with a. Shh, I'm still hiding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
Oh, well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, do your athletics <laughs> or acrobatics. I have faith in you, Jerka. Come on. Uh, this athletics one, this, or this one, acrobatics. This one time on this particular check, I have faith in you. <laughs> Damn it. <Woo! laughs> and you almost thwarted it. <laughs> Jerka, Jerka pops back in from the extra dimension, and instead of going right back to her spot, she, like, tumbles to the ground unexpectedly in a very graceful <laughs> manner. The lobster's like, <laughs> oh. All right. Is that a chung? What the fuck is that? And it is Alpha's go. All right. Let's see. I think I'm just going to continue to try to stab this skeleton fruitlessly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the shit is that big guy over there? Yeah, I was just noticing that. I told you he was coming, guys, like three rounds ago. Right, unfortunately, a 12 will not hit, but close for a skeleton. A 14 will hit. Good times! Son of a butt. That's not right. <laughs> 23 will hit. Oh, no, that that was for damage. I screwed it up. Uh, so it'll take 7 damage. Okay. I feel like the most ineffectual jerk wipe ever. You are kind of a jerk wipe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? No, nope, that's it. That's all I do. Marcus? All right, so first of all, do something impressive. I want yeah, just to. If I can, can I tell what that big thing is? Um, Keeping in mind that my favorite enemies are giants and fiends. So it is like it is a giant, um, like monst uh, like monstrosity yeah. thing, but it would probably be a giant. Yeah. It has keyword giant, Joe. Yeah, it would have keyword giant. Awesome. <laughs> Um, <coughs> so I'll yell out uh, Salvation! <laughs> there it is! The beast! And I will fly 20 feet up to get out of the reach of these dudes. Actually, how tall is this cave? Can I fly? Uh, yeah. Yep. It's All probably right. like 30 feet tall. I'm going to fly 30 feet up then. <laughs> or 25, so I'm not hitting my head on the ceiling. Uh, and first, I'm just going to cast Cure Wounds, a second level spell on myself. Okay, and you can <laughs> withdraw. So you are taking the withdrawal action, or you can do that as, like, I can't remember. Uh, my Tyranodon does right. not provoke attacks of opportunity from flying away. Okay. Cool. So I heal. I heal. And Durka, you, like, snap back to reality. Oop. Here comes snap gravity. Back to reality. Oh, they go gravity. <laughs> Mom, snap back to reality and Grace <laughs> fell to the ground while dodging. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Grab snap. She was. She was like, oh, I got this, bitches." <laughs> you see this line that I'm drawing? Yes. Hey, Wait, if you if you, you move into the go? darkness, you'll be okay. Marcus, where are you? And my ex. Marcus, where are you? He's where he's standing. He is only twenty-five 30 feet, feet up. up. Yeah. 25 feet up. Good. Excellent. <laughs> Durka casts... You gotta do it like this, Durka. You gotta, you gotta do it like this. Good. Good. Excellent. <laughs> Durka slides her hand through the air and says, burn, baby. Burn. <laughs> so how, how wide is it? Fire. 60, 60 feet long. And it's, Aw, it's, fuck. 20 feet tall. I don't think it's 20 feet tall. Oh yeah, it is twenty feet tall. Either I was way. Say, it yeah. does say twenty Peace. feet tall specifically. <laughs> I, I thought maybe that was just for the radius, but yeah, like it, how, it's how feet what's tall, the radius? Uh, it's a sixty foot long wall, just like that. And twenty foot wide? No, no, it's just like it's just like one oh, it's one like, square wide or whatever. But one, twenty feet it's probably, tall. It's probably like two feet wide or something. All right, so down. it's under my feet. The the <laughs> burnination side is this side because I have to pick a burnination side. This oh, is the wait, burnination. So, so it's like side. twenty foot wide. No, 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 not no, twenty. No, I'm foot confused. It's, it's that line. Sixty foot long. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's that line. It's, it's that line, but it's twenty feet tall and that long. And it's. It's kind of directional, like it emanates heat in one direction, but not right, the other. Right. Okay. So this is the hot side. But so, how how far hot does it burn people in? Is what I'm trying to guess. The the burnination only happens on that side if you end your turn in the burnination. 
So, so, you take not, so everybody, everybody that every, that line goes through takes twenty six fire. So right now, there's only two people. Three, or I guess uh, yeah, Marcus is above it. So two people take that twenty six fire now. Okay. Wait, hold on. So the 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 ten okay. feet, the ten the the hot side is ten feet on that side. Ah, okay. Gotcha. But but the the only people that have to make saves right now are the two people that the line goes through. Okay. Because they are the only people that are potentially taking damage right now. Which is 26 is pretty good. Yep. That's pretty good. <clears throat> so, nope. And... and the last bastion in the English-speaking world. Those Korean nope. are straight porn on graphics. So this guy falls to the flame. Yeah. No, no, not Park Age. Park Age is tame. And. Okay. There, there's some of those Korean MMOs that are. Okay. Like, like, and Ramus can't move. Lorcan. Okay. I, I am going to move. Um. Alright, 10 o'clock. You decide where you're moving. I'm grabbing another beer. Martin, the uh, with, for flavor, let's say that the wall comes right up to the edge of Hodar's darkness, and you like there's like steam where the the ice and the fire are interacting. Okay, I like that idea. <laughs> you just run into the cold. Yeah, I'm going right there. That way, I can stay in darkness and get healed if I do take any damage. But that'll take both my move and action to do that. So nice. That is my. I was turn. thinking if you didn't want to do that, you could push people through the wall. I thought about that, but man, there's so many of them. You just one that'd be easy to push. Uh, it's true. But then I got this lobstrosity down here to deal with. True. I don't like to put myself in danger. Fair enough. If I'm up here and I can move my next turn, I can move deeper into the darkness and start shoving people through the other side of the wall. Yep. That's more of what I'm going for. Yep. yep. I don't like to use fire as an instrument, but since you created it, I might as well take advantage of it. Right. So All that's right, my, so that's that was my turn, turn, JJ. I did a double move action to move into the darkness. Oh, wow. No. Every, everything just went dark. I accidentally did <laughs> your character. Oh! <laughs> I brought it back. I'm trying to delete this effing circle without deleting Lorcan. I was say, I have to stay in that circle. Are you still in there? Are you there? Are you no. back? Uh, I can see some stuff again, but you've got me over in the water to the west. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Just leave it like that and then put me in there. There you go. Okay, and I accidentally moved you from... Oh, shit. I can see stuff now. You can see the whole thing? Uh, not everything, but I can see what looks like a... Maybe a you mean battle. your normal vision. It's good, it, though. Yeah, it, yeah. normal vision. It looks like there's a battleship in the water. <laughs> nice. That would be a door. All right. Hey, guys. Does anybody feel like sinking a battleship? Because I see one right now. <laughs> it's not a battleship. <laughs> That's a huge door. It, it's four squares across. It is very easily a battleship. It'll take four minutes. <laughs> I can tell. Okay. <laughs> All right. And that is your go. Did you, did you strike anything? You moved. No, I did a double move to, in order to be able to get into the blackness and avoid attacks of opportunity. Okay. Marcus is up in the air. Um, all right. Durka. Um, he tries to grapple you again. The lobster. Oh, I just—it's opposed. Yep. Yes, acrobatics or athletics or athletics. You can do whichever one is better for you, since you're the defender. All right, you are grappled. Okay. And they move. Ah, damn, I'm having trouble selecting individual people. Selecting individual things. There we go. So you move. Is dragging me back to the ocean. To there. Okay. Da -da so let's go. 
Alpha <laughs> does a 11 hit you, no. Only if you want your does a 10 hit you, no. On that second 10, I'm going to use one of my abilities to do a, a reply attack. So if they miss me, I get to like swing back at them. So yep. if that's cool... Uh, nope. Son of a... God damn it. No. There's lots of this... swooshing going around over there. <laughs> like... I'm like I'm like gently caressing them. I'm like, oh. <laughs> they're, oh. It's okay, they're gently caressing you too. Alpha, Alpha Ren, you are by far the worst <laughs> Jedi I've ever heard of. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so but you have. <sighs> All right, so you you guys see this like there's like an epic. So there's like a big ass line of you know fire right here. Right? Nice, I can see the animation. And yeah. So I guess Durka and Alpha like see this huge honking thing like come bursting through the flames. So it take, there's there's light now. It would take the damage. Okay, takes the damage. Wait, and was it five v eight or five v six? Oh shit! Hold on. It uh, was five d eight. Sorry. Ooh. Watch it be less than eighteen. Oh, it's the <laughs> same. Exactly eighteen. Bullshit! <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> All right. Somebody's rigging the dice today. <laughs> Derka. Data chum, data chi, not to worry. You've got the key. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. I just spilled beer in my keyboard, which I oh. <laughs> like two weeks ago, I took it completely apart, like all the keys out and unscrewed it and washed it. This is going to be sticky as fuck. Okay, anyways. I would say there's a lesson here and that you shouldn't be drinking beer in front of the keyboard, but that's just ludicrous. And I thought this was America. It's like it's like an eleven dollar um, keyboard that I've had for like four years. So. All right. So, I anyways, have, I have a whole closet full of them, JJ. If you need more. <laughs> All right. Um, so these skeletons are going to move over here. These guys are going to God damn it. Take damage. <laughs> These guys um, step through as well. So Durka, go ahead and just roll. I'll just yeah roll a five d eight again, and each one of these guys will take that damage. What? No. Nope. Oh, <laughs> that five, can't be right. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's yeah, a lot more. That's right. better. That yeah, guy nah. goes down. See, that's what five eight supposed five d eight supposed to look like. That guy goes down. And... Wait, this guy was already on the other side of the wall, wasn't he? No, no, he was dead. Oh no, you you are correct. Yeah, he was on the other side. It was these friends. it was these two that take the damage. Alright. Okay. So he he goes down over as he's like crossing through, we'll say. Right. Alright. Um Lorcon. Oh shit. Nobody targets Lorcan. Um. Oh god damn it. <laughs> so he This just isn't fair. He comes up and he like doesn't <laughs> like really no Well, he starts his turn down. in the darkness, so he takes two D six cold immediately. Mm. Yep. <laughs> You can roll that. Could you not see him? He was under, I, he he was was under the water. He was under the water, I think. Roll the 2d6. Okay, cool. So he makes a grapple check. He can see me? Oh, shit, he, he's a crab. He probably can see in darkness. Like, he doesn't even need eyesight. It, no, he doesn't. Well, he doesn't need eyesight. That is correct. But it is not that he can see in magical darkness. Yeah, that <laughs> it doesn't matter. I, I would say like that's gonna matter. I'm gonna assume. Okay. <laughs> so, when in doubt, you might as well kill. <laughs> <laughs> so he is going to attempt to grapple you. Damn it. Okay. And so I gotta roll athletics or acro acrobatics. Yes. Uh, we're gonna go with acrobatics. Bam. Right. And then his second one, he tries to grapple you. 
Yeah. Again. Fail. Yeah, I, I actually. God damn it! All right, so he grapples you. How is that not a natural one and a two? What the hell did I roll? All right, so he grapples you, um, and pulls you into the water, and you are not underwater yet. But he, you can tell he's trying to pull you under the water. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, well, sorry. Go ahead. Can, can you use a reaction. bonus action when it's not on your turn, or is bonus Only action your reaction. turn? Only reactions. Okay, I don't have a reaction, so. Alpha, year go. All right, I'm pull gonna some, continue to uh, caress some Jedi these shit. Jedi skeletons. Shit. No, no, no. These skeletons just need need to be rubbed with oils. Ah. <laughs> uh, observe as I apply the oils gently on their foreheads. All right. So you're attacking. I think it feels good. Twelve does not hit. Like nine. what you got to do is really just get it in there, you know. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get it in the oh, joints, God. Billy. You're just like, hey, look, that's a rib. <laughs> okay. Let me give you a little bit of rub that's on your ridiculous, rib. Ridiculous, dude. Like I know that we make fun of Billy because he doesn't roll well in a D20, <laughs> but it's like, it's like, <laughs> dude, Billy is never in like. Even in physical rolls, been able to roll well. well. Like, I don't know what it is. All right, I feel bad. All right, Marcus. All right. So, how tall is this uh, giant? Uh, ten feet. Abomination thing. Okay. Um, sweet. Oh, 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 wait, 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 JJ. I forgot the the crab. If he was still within my radius of that, he does need to make a deck save or take two d six cold okay. damage additional. Sixteen is the DC. Sorry, Joe. I didn't mean to. Nope. So he takes he takes damage. All right. So. No, that's not right. Where the hell is my? There we go. All right. All right. Anyway, resume, Joe. All right. I'm going to fly down to be, I guess either 15 or 20 feet above him, whatever I need to be, so that he's at range from me. How tall is he? He's 10 feet tall. So you need to be 15 feet from the ground. <clears throat> or, well, but I, I want to be using my 10 foot reach. Yeah, you have reach, so you're 20 feet from the ground. Cool. So I'm still 20 feet up. Okay. And... Actually, no, I'm going to stay at 25 feet up. I'm going to... Oh, did I click that? I didn't mean to click that. Okay. Ignore that. Ignore. Uh, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that doesn't do anything for the moment, but it will when I attack later. Okay. And so you moved and attacked. I moved and cast a spell. Um, oh, and, and I say. Uh, you face Marcus, Troll Slayer. I'll laugh from the darkness. <laughs> hey! That's not a good word. <laughs> Alright, Durka. So Durka's currently grappled? Mm, yep. <laughs> Get, away right. from, Get away from the lobstrosity, Durka. Go, go, go. Yeah, I know you have the spell. I have it. Go, I know. go. Yeah, so... <laughs> Durka looks at the lobster, smiles a little bit, her eyebrow twitches, and she goes, Later, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And she teleports to right here as her bonus action. Did you intentionally rhyme that, Corey? What? Her eyebrow twitches, and she says, Later, bitches. <laughs> no, I didn't, but I should put, I'm going to put that in the spell now, now that I realize that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then Durka is going to make a... So wait... What does Durka know about Hunger of Hadar? That's what this spell is, right? Yeah, it's a third level spell. What does she know, though? I don't know. That's up to your roles and her knowledges are pretty high. Um, so she would, I mean, she would know that it probably does like lingering it's, cold damage. And I'd say it's not exactly like I have been uh, avoiding using it, but there's a little bit of a difference to that, Corey, because it's JJ, only start or end turn, right? 
Yes, and JJ has made some changes to mine that I do only cold with spells that I'm not supposed to have. So it's a bonus spell for me, so it only does cold. So Durka is basically going to attempt to run through the hu the Hunger of Hadar to the other side of the firewall. As long so as you don't begin or end your turn in it, you're okay. Right, so she's basically going to run, like, a little bit into it, right? And then just run, like, turn and run directly this way. Okay. Now, you do take half movement while you're in it because you can't see. Oh, right. So, yeah, so I, I, was, I was imagining that, like... Durka has no idea what's over there, even though I, the player, can see. So her her goal is basically to run right around the edge of the fire. So, JJ, I'm going to leave it kind of up to you as to, like, how far she, she, does she accidentally run into the water before she turns? And then, you know, she can she can make it to the outside of the wall, like, no, outside I mean, of the thing. She, she would be able to make it with a double move fairly easy, I think. Yeah, that's her plan, is to end up somewhere over here. So that's either good. here that's or good. here. Okay. Okay, and then you see, you can see this guy here. He's like, oh, he's like clung, he's like, he's like ten feet up on the wall. Oh, nice! Oh, I forgot about that guy. We haven't seen him since I knocked him out of our vision. I forgot about him. Okay, we're almost gonna go Lorcan. Okay, so I haven't taken any damage from the crab thing yet, right? Correct. All right. Well, I'm not gonna use my only spell left to Misty Step. I'll wait till he damages me. So, um, do, 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 do. All right, I am going to while I'm grappled, can I still attack? You can do anything except your movement is zero. Okay. Then I am going to... Uh, I haven't taken any damage, so I don't heal. Um, yeah, I'm just going to attack the crab thing. Okay. All um, right. Both of those will hit. Okay, so he takes 19 damage. I don't know how the knockback works with me in his claws, but so I he think if be he knocked is... immediately and away from me, so if he's like going down in the water, he should be deeper in the water. If he's moving away, he should be moving we, away. I think we've looked at this before, and I don't think. I think that he gets pushed away, and I think if he is moved, I don't think you go with him. Sweet. I think that's how he did it before. I like that answer. I don't, but I think that's <laughs> <laughs> So he doesn't go 20 feet, he smacks into the wall. Okay. Um, and stops and takes some more damage. Oh, wow. Didn't expect that. Take. Um, Actually, I don't know if this affects your call because it's not quite the same situation, but I was... I was trying to read up on the mounted combat stuff, and it definitely that you can't you can't hit somebody who's mounted with something and push them off their mount. Like the mount and the player definitely move together, so it's yeah it's feasible think, that when grappled it could be the same thing. I think that's because don't you with a mount share your movement though? Kind of, yeah, in a, in a weird way. Yeah, and when you're grappled, you don't share your movement. Like, he gets his movement, and if I can break the the grapple, I would still get my move turn. I don't Fair know. Enough. It's it's weird. Grapple's real. I fucking hate well, it. Why said, does every edition have to make grapple so fucking weird? Well, they tried to reduce it on this one, and they've made it they so that it, like, it's hard to tell. They made it kind of loose. You know, of a I kind of like that though. Like, if you're in a grapple with somebody and you have something that does force damage to knock them away from you, it'd be nice to be able to be like knocks you their grip away from you. But on the other hand, if they've got a hold of you and you knock them back with magic, maybe you go with it. I don't know. Exactly. JJ's call. He's DM. I support that he made the call once, and I stayed in place, so I stay in place now. You have like the best like anti grapple. Um, okay. The worst part is that I can't turn it off. So if somebody else is in a grapple, I can if I attack them, I knock them out of the grapple. 
All right. Um, so make sure you're grappled. I'm gonna shoot you. Crab. You're not grappled anymore. Uh, but you just took damage. Crab <laughs> moves a little bit over to here. He attempts to grapple you. Damn it. Opposed. All right, oh. you succeed. He attempts to grapple you a second time. I thought he was setting the DC for me. So yeah, that's you. Well, no, so like not the saving throw. That's just my like. That's my bad macro. Just his, his your DC was twelve, and you made it. Got it. And now your DC is nineteen. For another opposed. Yes. God. All right. So he grabs you this time takes you a little bit deeper and you are now underwater. Okay. You both sink underwater. Till I take damage, it's not going to matter. But So interestingly, uh, the grappled condition specifically says, the condition also ends if an effect removes the grappled creature from the reach of the grappler or grappling effect, such as when a creature is hurled away by the thunder wave spell. Mm. But note that it says if it removes the grappled creature from the reach of the grappler, not if you remove the grappler from within reach of the grappled. Like you, that is not exactly what it says. You could say that it means the same thing, but you could yeah. also argue that it doesn't. Yeah, the whole terminology of everything makes it very ambiguous. Yeah. Mm. but I might, I might ask online somewhere and see what I can figure out. But... I like with what JJ is going with now and that we ruled before that if I knocked you away, you knocked away and until we know better then we just stick with the rule we've been using. Okay. Yep. So you're underwater and you can't see as far. Yeah. Okay. I noticed, I noticed JJ. I see how you changed the lighting. <laughs> Alright. Alpha, you ready to get smoked? Yep. Alright, so these guys attack you. Crit. I'll be, I'll be back guys. Don't die. All right. Ooh, 20 damage. Pretty right. standard. The second guy. 12 does not hit you. Right. Um. Okay. Ramos is down. Okay, so... Okay. So these guys are going to All right. So everybody's moving over here towards you. Ramos Ramos can try to prevent that guy from moving. Uh, no, he can't because he is frozen. Oh, he... right. <clears throat> um, Alpha. Yeah. You realize that you are alone Ooh. and surrounded. Yeah. Um, I should have stayed in twenty feet, so I could have gotten an attack of opportunity. Dang it. Actually, Shit. Actually, no. Sorry, this guy's not going to move here. He is going to. Um, he's going to, like, reach down and like grab a rock. And oh, like, shit. throw it straight up. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> what is that guy? What does he look like? Um, just zoom in real close. JJ said something about like a giant aberration. Hmm. So he's okay. just a giant, like, just like a weird looking creature. With, like pieces, you know, like right. strewn together yeah. and just like weird stuff hanging out of him and like rotted flesh everywhere. And... Okay. Well, I'm about to get swifty. Do y'all mind? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he throws a rock at... I'm just moving him for... So I can click... Targeting him. purposes. Targeting purposes. So he's throwing straight up. Is that going to hit me, or is it going to hit him Bridges? It... I mean, I'm just... He's just going to hit you. Okay. 
Um, so he Wait, it was a natural one! So he misses. Falls on his head. And hits Ambrosius. <laughs> 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 Um, so he misses, um, and... Dirk on this side of the wall sees a rock fly up in the air, and then fly back down. So, let's see, what other stuff does he have? Um, so yeah, he picks up another rock and attempts the same thing. Yeah. Just moving him for targeting purposes. I can't see him. 17 hits you, Ember. Nope. Alright, Marcus. Okay. Says his go. Alright. Um, some arrows come flying at you, Marcus. Nope. Shit. Oh wait, this is troll. This is a troll. Oh, <laughs> this is the troll slayer. <laughs> Does seventeen hit you? Probably not. <laughs> nope. And a nineteen hits you. It does. It's an undead troll. Oh, come on, Marcus, come on, Marcus show us what you're made of. Isn't this isn't this like your like wet dream right here? <laughs> All right. All right, and you take eight damage from it. And eight damage that hits you. Roger. All right. Mark doesn't care. Alpha. Go, Jedi. All right. So, Alpha, uh, you, can, you can roll a perception check. You see a lot of Wait, well, you, 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 see, you clearly see a whole bunch of guys around you, but you can roll a perception check or something else. Okay. Just a moment here while all that stuff happens. Roll a perception check. Okay. Perception. Good. Cool. It's good spell. Let me skill. Good. Good. It's good. good. It's good. good. So all those guys moved into Alpha, but couldn't attack. Um, no, he no, he can. But I was just giving him a perception attack. Oh, 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 I see, I see. All Come right, so Alpha, you notice, uh, you hear like a, you can hear a bunch of like, like shambling up in here and stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, um, you know, it's like okay, and it is. You also hear like a bunch of like clanking and stuff. And oh, shit. So, like one of the one of them comes like flying out, like hits the ground, like a skeleton comes out like flying out and hits the ground like hard, um, mm. but like like stands back up. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna flee now. Uh, <laughs> please, you know what? Flee. Well, I've been rubbing oils on these skeletons and it hasn't made friends yet. I'm wondering if they would appreciate patty cake. It says like, not gonna affect him. <laughs> or maybe some lipstick. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna cast invisibility on myself. Okay. Dude, do you not have lips? Whoa, that's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna brush their teeth for them. Okay, so now that I'm invisible, I'm gonna go away. All right. Oh my shit. Let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Eh. Yeah, it's close. All right. Okay. I take right, it you dropped your torch. Or no, your torch isn't. No, you probably want to drop your torch, right? Yep. Yep. I'm <laughs> fleeing into the darkness. Well, say his torch would be invisible with him if not, but it wouldn't. Right, but it still projects light. light. Yeah, it wouldn't. Pr it wouldn't produce any light for him. But these are unintelligent. So there's like he doesn't. Let's say he doesn't have to drop it in case he becomes invisible again. He would still have yeah, the torch. I'll just have the invisible torch scenario if that's okay. Okay, yeah. so yeah. the skeletons are like Nerf. I can see but, a, I can see a darkness and I still don't see him. But <laughs> um you you can see that like this guy is like following it, like following the torch light. Okay. Sounds good. Uh maybe I'll just drop the torch one square away from myself. Okay. <laughs> so that you know, so set it down and then kinda yeah. Alright, that's gonna be hard to do uh, item interaction. Item interaction is just to toss five feet. <laughs> All right. Um, hold. Oh, on. as far as light, I don't care if it's in the same spot as me. I mean, I'm not going to see that much different stuff. I can't even see you anymore. I can, but I can't because I'm behind a. Hey, perfect. I'm underwater. I really can't see much of it. All right. Uh, Marcus, your go. 
All right. Martin, you've been asking for something impressive. I, I'm underwater. I won't even see it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> well, whatever. Uh, Marcus flies down so that he is 10 feet away from the troll dude. And makes his first attack. 17 to hit. That'll hit, yep. 17 damage. Okay. And bonus action to attack again. Ah, oh, lame damage. 11 will not. Oh, is that advantage? Does he have advantage? No. no. So he doesn't hit that one. Oh. No, does not hit. Okay, so it wasn't that impressive. But, FYI, on each attack, I'm now doing 1d12 plus 1d6 if I hit. And wow. I can do that plus 3. And that's that's equal on both attacks. So. I wasn't there to see your not impressive, impressive attack. <laughs> Well, get out of the water, and then watch when I do it next time. <laughs> and I'm going to stay here so I can potentially get attack of opportunity. Okay. Durka? Hey, I don't think that this guy took a turn on his turn. Um, he... Hey, just I showed up over just, your last just turn. Just because you didn't see it doesn't mean he didn't do anything. True, exactly. and he may not see me either. He, his, I don't know what his vision is, so I just want to make sure he didn't get skipped. So he is clinging to a wall... Like looking at you, but like it's. I fucked him up pretty he's good. Not, he's not doing anything. Does he look fucked up? Does he look um, scared? He looks especially healthy now for some reason. Oh, see, I did fuck him up, and he fixed it. All right. All right. Then I guess. Hmm. Refuck him up. I don't know. I may not want to. Durka takes like a quick step over here, just like gently, not threateningly, and Fuck like somebody up for God's sake, and rub some oil into a skeleton, and like says some nice words. Says, what what kind of creature is this thing, by the way? Um, a vampire. Vampire. It's like, hey, you and I are not all that different. Um, Aww. <laughs> we're we're kind of the same, and you should probably like you know just kind of back off for a little while so that we can just kind of move through here. Derek, uh, you know more about vampires than that, surely. I don't know. Does Durka know that that won't work on vampires? Why wouldn't it work on a vampire? I don't know. That Martin seems to be implying it. This is not. This is not Pathfinder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And this is. This is. Man. For the record, this is not the, this is not like the full vampire in their lair. I would not do that to you. Guys. I haven't even looked <laughs> at vampire in monster manual, so I don't even know what they're like in this. Yeah, no, it's like the vampires are pretty. So what is the save? Save DC sixteen, and yep. that is a what save? Wisdom. Wisdom. Ooh. Oh. He's my buddy. Okay. Oh, unless wait. The only other thing would be if he's considered fighting us. If he if he's fighting us, quote unquote, <laughs> then he gets advantage on the attack or on the save. Um, uh, probably yeah. Okay. Nice. Ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's my buddy. All right. So she is like. Yes. She's my buddy. Yes. Yes. All right. She's, that's my that's my turn. Okay. Ram Ramus, fuck somebody up. Ramus is incapacitated. Wake up, Ramus. <laughs> so. You wouldn't go down like a bitch if you were here. <laughs> 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 so, this big troll attempts to throw rocks at Marcus. 18. Um. Do you get bonus defense against a favorite enemy, Joe? No. Uh, Rangers don't get any actual combat bonuses against their favorite enemies. Does an 18 what? hit? 18 does not hit. 21 hit? 21 does. What do you get by favor from it, favorite enemy? You learn a language that they speak. Uh, you get bonuses to tracking them, to knowledge about them, perception to notice them, perception to tell things about them. Stuff like that, but no, no combat bonuses anymore, which I think is really lame. I would say that sounds like a favored something, but not enemy. Yeah. All right. All right. 
So one of the rocks hits you. Ouch. Okay. Um, Durka, you notice that some um, skeletons come flying out of like kind of like a cliff, kind of like slitted area, and they like land on like their backs, but then they like stand up here. Um, Guys, there's a door over here. Let's just go. <laughs> um, you are underwater. You're underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Which, no, I, as we determined before, you can't <laughs> talk even to cast a spell with those components when you're All you hear is... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Um, Ramus... Ramus is going to snap out of it. He looks at... He looks over and sees a whole bunch of shit and sees a wall of fire and jumps through a wall of fire. <laughs> wow. Lesser of two evils. I'm going to GTFO. And then he comes over here and he like comes to Durka and he's like he's like this is hopeless. <laughs> Alright, Lorcon. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so uh, so we determined I can't do verbal underwater, right? Correct. All right, so I'm gonna bite myself. Okay. So that I'll deal damage to myself, which I'm inside my cold, so I should heal back from. But by dealing damage to myself, I will, as a bonus action, misty step away from this damn crab. Well, do you get to heal it back? At because... the end of my turn. But if you're I'm gonna... in, oh, because okay. I'm in cold. Okay. Okay. So, so, but, so the actual turn is I begin my t actually no I do uh, I haven't taken damage yet so I begin my turn I take two d six cold damage to heal me but I haven't taken any damage. Okay. Then I bite myself so that I take damage so that I will activate my misty step and make me immediately uh, teleport thirty feet invisibility away from the crab. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to teleport up and out of the water. Okay. Uh, back onto the shore. Which should I can't see it now, but I'm pretty sure that was more that was less than thirty feet away. Did you move? Uh, I can't see because you changed my visibility. But you can't so see yourself at all. I I can see me in my five foot square. Oh yeah, no, you can you can move yourself. So Wait, uh, if you can't see, you can only misty step to locations you can see. Ooh. Well, uh, you, can, you can get away from the crab that far. Well, shit. I didn't know that. I thought that I could just misty step to anywhere that I could know the location. I think it's pretty. I think it says within sight. Uh, you yeah, teleport that, thirty feet to an unoccupied space that you can see. So you can get there, Martin, which breaks the grapple, and then you can move out. Um, but I can't see. Uh, for, if I go up to there, can I see the door from there? Um, once you, if you misty step and you go there. You are then out of the water, and then you can see. Then you are above the water and can see. Okay, so that would put me in movement of the door. So I'm going to yell out, "The door is in the water." Durka yells it. back, "What water? All I see is darkness." <laughs> North, bitches. And then I will head to the door. Okay. So I'll, that, that should put me at the door. Are you okay. keeping Hunger of Hadar up? No, I can't move it. No, I mean, are you keeping it up? Uh, I mean, I have to end concentration to... I have no reason to take it down. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, if anybody calls out that they'll move towards it, I would take it down, but for the moment... I just Durka just yelled out, I can't see, there's a big black blob there. Oh, I didn't hear the big black blob. Big yeah, yeah. I can't see. Okay. It's darkness. All right. so, yeah, I'll, I'll I, sorry, oh, I said darkness. I meant it's magical darkness. Okay. I'll end my concentration on Hunger of Hadrar. Now, JJ, when I get to the door, can I use my free item interaction to open the door? Uh, sure. So, Well, you can. You grab the door, and it is Blows up. starting to open freely. 
um, and then it, it like opens just a tiny bit and then you hit this like th there's like this big like thud like it's like open the doors opening like super easy and then but it's like hitting something under the water god damn it so it doesn't it like barely opens like a crack and then hits something under the water all right so i've taken a move and a bonus and a free item interaction can i see the crab under the water um no cuz it's like really it's like the water's like really murky and not very clear all right. Well, there's no point in wasting my turn. I can see the other, since I have dark vision, I can see the other stuff on the shore. Uh, yes. Alright, I will shoot the, um, let's see, I don't see anybody in immediate danger. So I'll shoot the troll. Yeah. Okay. Remember that the firewall is opaque. I can't tell where you are, but you might not be able to see it. Um... Let's see. Uh, you can see it enough, yeah. Close enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah I couldn't, like I couldn't right, tell where you were, so. I think I can. It'd be like right on the edge, but I should be able to see enough of it to target it. Yeah, you can get okay. it. So yeah, that'll be my attack. Uh, ooh, a crit on one. Nice. nice. And um, if it, I already released the dark vision, so it should be able to see me on the second one, so that mm -hmm. second one shouldn't hit. Well, the okay. second one, wait, Martin, that's... A natural one, which you get to re-roll. Oh, that's a good call. It's a good call. God damn it. I don't like having to re-roll everything. <laughs> um, I'm just going to re-roll the spell, and we'll take that first. Okay. Okay. All, right, so all those will hit, so he takes five, and then re-roll that, plus the 11, so 16. Okay, so I got to roll another 1d10. No, no, I don't get the bonus. Just the oh yeah, just the dice, yeah. Just the dice. So, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so he takes fifteen from the first damage. Oh, and what a shame! I don't get attack of opportunity. Eleven from the second one. I should knock him back twenty feet. Yep. Plus ten from the the crit, so twenty six damage total. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Man, if he had died, I'd have been like, who's the troll slayer now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, Martin, you can tell that um, the crab is like, it's yeah. Like, it's like trying to get you and stuff. I um, kind of assumed it was blocking the door, too. Um, it like doesn't find you just yet, uh, but you can tell it's like blocking the door. May not be doing it on purpose. You never know. Um, Guys, we got a crab to kill. We got a troll to kill. Hey, I dropped the darkness. Get your ass up here. There's a door right here. Did you guys explain to Marcus about the door? I didn't. I only explained to Marcus as to why he's food. Well, you also explained there's a a back like a, a traitor that you're trying to hunt down. I didn't. Maybe the rest of the group did. Uh, Durka did. Yeah. Durka said, well, you know, if, I own, the only thing to help us track down a, a traitor, and Marcus is like, what? Of course. Okay. That makes sense. Lorcan would have only described to you why she shot you in the first place, because you look like the kind of stuff that Tiny preps for dinner. JJ, you can take that circle away if you want. I tried like twenty times. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to make sure. You, wanted to make sure you understood it wasn't there. Yeah, no, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get it. Okay, um, Joe. Yo. Make a will save for Ambrosius. For Ambrosius. That's harsh. Okay, so. In case it matters now. Here's the thing. As a Beastmaster, my companion it specifically says gets to use my um, proficiency bonus on saves for which is pro it is proficient. Okay. But the, the animal things don't give any mention of which saves I'm going to say it's proficient in strength and dexterity. Probably not wisdom. Okay. I would not assume that a pterodactyl is wise. 
Fair enough. Oh, yeah, and it's uh, rough. It's got a ne negative one. All right. Go, Ambrosius. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's not good. Uh oh. That's not even a noob save. All right. Um. So, Ambrosius starts to like fly down, and Ambrosius lands. No. And no. Is like, Ambrosius, what are you doing? Like, Stop it! No. No. Stop it! <laughs> what are you doing? This is not right. You see. If you were writing Infinity SLX. <laughs> <laughs> so, this hulking... Billy, you're missing all these great opportunities. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. He's <laughs> invisible. He's trying not to draw attention to himself. I'm trying to come up with some new material here. <laughs> this is really rough because the thing is, if Marcus gets off his mount, he can only use one lance. Oh, man. The, the way that he can use two, lan two lances is all focused on being mounted, and he loses one to his AC. All right, so he is only wielding one weapon. Billy, it's good material, man. I can't even drive home to or from <laughs> work without seeing an infinity without <laughs> thinking is it of that. To Joe? <laughs> no, not while I'm still mounted. Okay. Does. Oh, yeah, that, will hit. That, that might hit. <laughs> oh, that's this could be bad. Oh my god! So, you, you can't die second session, bro. <sighs> Dude, crit. That's really bad. Oh my god, Joe. I'm really <laughs> low on health. The, the 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 there was a different character you were supposed to come in as, and I think the fates are trying to make it so. <laughs> Alright, 16 damage. Jesus Christ, 40 damage. What was a crit? Alright. He said if I get to zero, then I just die? Yeah. And become a white. So, so technically that's not true for whites, JJ. I don't know if maybe th this is a special white, but... Um... The white thing, death, only happens if they reduce the maximum to zero. Oh, yeah, because every time they take a hit, it reduces their maximum by an X number. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't have, if you don't have crystal skills, ice is more Oh, so the target dies if this effect reduces its hit points to a maximum. Right, so basically if the white, zero. like, yeah, reduces I, the max to zero... Well, take it, forever. Yeah, but I mean, it's like... <laughs> they, I think the idea is if you fall and your comrades leave behind, and the, the whites like, just, like, eat you. Right. Yeah. And you right. come back as a white. Right. Does an eight not hit you? Well, I'm. Well, he's I'm already incapacitated. Down. Yeah, I'm down, so I don't know what that means for my AC. That means you that you hit, just you took a. Yeah, yeah, you just took automatic fail to your death save. Right. Fuck. So <laughs> I think Joe just died. Not Again? died. Well, three, I think you just three took... guys attacked him after he was incapacitated. Oh, oh three seriously? guys did. Well, okay. this guy, and then this, so then this guy comes up and attacks you, then this skeleton comes up and attacks you, and then you got... this white comes around. And oh man, yeah, you. that would kill you. Durka can't even see what's going on. Man. Boy, Joe, that was short lived. Mm. I'm gonna get another beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, rough. <laughs> God. That's real rough. That is rough, man. Fifth edition, y'all. Fifth edition. Yep, okay. Fifth edition, right there. So, Alpha, you like hear some like like a whole bunch more like clanking and stuff and um like some some more zombies like, or some more skeletons. Of, <laughs> run like, for the door, bitch! Run. Like, it doesn't seem like they're jumping out, but like like a whole bunch of skeletons like come flying out and they like they're like oh what the and like. Yeah, they like stand up. So, quick question: that flame wall, uh, I can't see past it, but does it provide illumination? Yeah, it does it's fire. provide illumination, but I can't figure yeah. out how to. Oh, no big deal. I guess. I'm sure, it's just like a ten foot fire. It's probably like a torch. Well, I don't know. It's bright, maybe twenty foot. I don't know. Yeah. Just run north, man. I told everybody go north. Go north. Run blindly. Go. Right. You can definitely I'll see that there's a go. gap in the wall right here. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, then I'm going to, like, pick up the torch, run with it for a little while, 
set it down and then take another five foot step. You know what I mean? Like, you know, <laughs> you drop it before I stop moving. I don't know. Like, I'm yeah. over here. Look, right, guys. So go, just go to wherever you're going to go, and I'll move the torch for you. All right. I think I could do a double move because I'm not doing yeah. really anything else right now. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. I don't know what's past here, but... Uh, no, there's okay. the darkness isn't there anymore. It's water. So you oh. can start wading into water. Yeah, JJ just hasn't, hasn't deleted the darkness. I can't. Okay. Like, I swear, like I'm like copying this. Like it won't let me select it. Did I like try to try to try to it? scan? Uh, try to zoom in a little bit closer, JJ. And sometimes the selection of drawing things are kind of weird. But if you zoom in closer, sometimes you can have a easier time selecting it. Like I can't select it without selecting the whole thing. And there's like, would, there's like stuff inside of it and stuff under it, and I don't want to read them. Did you draw it on the map layer? No, I tried that as well. So I'm just, that red circle does not mean <laughs> anything, anyone. Okay. So it's not Marcus's go. Durka. Screw weird, time for port. <laughs> <laughs> Run north, Durka. Joe. There's a certain character you're supposed to come back as, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, yeah, Durka, Durka tells the vampire before she leaves, she's like, hey, can you, can you, uh, can you try and, like, you know, take, make sure these zombies don't follow us too closely? I don't want to have to hurt them or anything, you know? And then hey, Joey, you could, you could come back as my cousin Yuri, the guy with the Infinity XLS. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. So <laughs> as, like, come as an Infinity XLS now. <laughs> What are, you, what are you doing, Durka? Well, I guess so. Durka <laughs> takes her first act, her first move to move twenty five feet because she can't see all the way into the water, but she does see Alpha Ren. So she moves right next to Alpha Ren to begin with. Okay. And well, she doesn't yeah. see me. I am invisible. Oh right, but you, you saw are the torch. Well, either way, she moves your... directly to the water's yeah. edge. She can see the torch that's next to him. Yeah. Like she saw the torch moving, so she's. I not saw there. a torch moving. Yeah. Okay, and now I can kind of see Lorcan out there. Um, is that so? The thing that Lorcan's on is that above the water? Yes. It's like on top of the water, or like it's like ki it's like kind of partially submerged in the water. Um. Lorcan is making gestures at you that <laughs> look like this. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Durka. Oh, I really want to cast fly, but I don't want to lose the firewall. Don't be a bitch. Swim. Whoa, I did not go there. Durka. Oh. Whoa, whoa, that whoa, was a mistake. Whoa, whoa, that was a mistake. <laughs> Durka, Durka, Durka. And Durka can't see the thing. Is this 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 is the wall right here, right? There's nothing to walk on there. Correct. So, yeah, I guess Durka's not a big fan of swimming. I think Durka is going to um, ready an action to get in the water if something threat if something comes close enough that it would threaten her. Like if it gets within ten feet of her or something, she'll like. Start. She'll take her action to move into the water. Okay. So Ramos comes and he's like, so Ramos runs up to you and he's like, "What are you doing? Get to the door!" And he gets to Chow. And a. <laughs> I was gonna say oh! the whole time I'm going like this. Come on, Ramos. Come on. <laughs> Well, Ramos was not paying the best of attention. <laughs> he couldn't see that far. All right, Lurkon, your go. Um, I will notice the crab thing going after Ramos, I suppose. Mm -hmm. I will shoot it. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to Chromatic Orb, I think it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a crit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. So that does... So do the crit damage. So roll another 68. 68? Wow, yep. nice. Damn, nice. 47 damage, very nice. 
Okay. Hey, there's an advantage to only having two spell slots per day. They're the That's true, they're all at fifth level, yeah. They're the top level spells. Alright, so it's like, it's like, <laughs> and then it like swims back under the water. <laughs> Keep going, Tidy, you're doing great! <laughs> Alright. And I'm gonna try and open the door again. Nope. Can't, open, it. can't open the door. There's not a crab here, and I still can't open it. Uh. <laughs> There's not a crab on the surface. That's true. I don't see the crab that I thought was there. What? Where did all those bitches come from? They fell off the cliff. They fell off the cliff. All six of them? Yes. Well, there was some there, and then like four fell off the cliff. <laughs> what, what Alpha, I don't know where you're about? at. Alpha, so but there's really? like there's like a you can't really see it very well. But there is like several 15 feet up. There's like kind of like a little bit of crack, like an overhang that like you can't see it, but that's kind of like where like the archers were like sneakily shooting, and mm -hmm. some like other stuff was happening. Mm -hmm. Wait, right, boy, get him! All right. Um. So everyone, let's see. What we'll do this guy. Here. Where's Rat Boy? Get him! <laughs> Rat boy. <laughs> all right, so everyone. Um, hey, nicknames are my thing. All right. Everyone can um, roll a perception check. Uh, all right. So Durka and Alpha Ren. Ramos doesn't notice it because he's like. Fighting the crab, Marcus is dead. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Joe. Nice try. Nice try, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys see, um, um, shit. I thought I had that as a hand. Uh, hold on. Well, Joe, you, you quickly caught up with me as far as number of characters <laughs> lost in this campaign. Oh, well, actually, neither of your characters is dead yet. Yeah, uh, give it time. <laughs> All right, so you guys see... Uh, can everyone see that? Oh, yeah. shit. Why does he look familiar? I, I don't know. So you see a guy that looks like that jump down. Wait. Oh, he looks like the monk from Diablo 3. That's why he looks familiar. And Guys, wait! One of our party members just died. Clearly, this is a new party member. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he he like runs over like clearly like is like super fast. And wait, is he is he is he's running at me or past me? He's running. He's running to you guys, and he's like, "You all have a undead problem." <laughs> <laughs> me and uh, me and my new buddy over here, we uh. We hate undead. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Me and my buddy, right? My buddy left. Man, we take care of undead. A yeah. ghostly That's voice says, so You couldn't have gotten here a few rounds ago. <laughs> and, then, and then Rama says, Your buddy? He says, Yeah, he he will he'll be here he'll be here in just a hot minute. <laughs> he's like, We better we better get to where you guys are going. I don't I know how I know where you guys are going, but we better get there. You understand? <laughs> to the door! <laughs> to the door, bitch! To the door! All right. And um, so he he says that stuff, and then like keeps moving up over to here. Like that's like really far. Like you notice that he like moved like really far and like moves really fast. That's a quick bitch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, Alpha, it's your go. Uh, I'll follow this man right here. He remind me of my mother, bold, bearded, and loud. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, mother? Of mother, you know, a uh, bearded mother. All right, I guess that's about 12, yeah. <laughs> okay. Can I get some of that sweet torch action up here? Or? Uh, yeah. Cool. You holding it above the water? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm technically still invisible, uh, but I'm holding a torch but above the water. A floating torch. A floating yeah. torch. Well, and not really I'm... a floating torch, a floating emanation of light. 
I'm, I'm hey, gonna hey, take. Hey. I'm gonna take credit for that and be like, guys, I'm lighting your way. Come on. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Durka. Durka class fly on herself. Okay. And then she flies over to the door. Help me open it. Free item interaction. If I can grab myself. <laughs> what? Why can't I grab? I keep grabbing the map. There we go. No, what? I don't want... What? That's so bizarre. Are you on the right layer? Yeah, I'm we grabbing don't, myself, don't... but then when I try and drag, it drags the map. So uh, she thought... We don't... Up. I was okay. say, we don't get layer right. action in okay. JJ. So. Right. Okay, so you fly. Um, Ramas says... We have to kill that stupid thing that's underneath here before these undead get us. We have to hold them off somehow. We have to kill this thing. I um, thought if, I did. If... I mean, he's still attacking my legs. I can feel it. Um, but if we don't find a way to hold off these, you know, skeletons, um, you know, we are, we're not going to, there's no way we can hold these guys off. Shit. All right, Lorcan, you go. Uh, I see if I have something to hold off skeletons. All right. I don't know how much, how well this is gonna do, but uh, I'm gonna cast Ice Storm. Okay. It's a 20 foot radius, 40 feet high, uh, on the shore. Actually, no. This has to be targeted. So I'm going to focus it over here. Uh, hang on. It's got a 300 foot range, so anywhere I can see. So I'm going to go for over here. Okay. 20 foot radius, 40 feet high. Okay. Why uh, over there? I'm going to try and take out as many skeletons as I can. Oh, I thought you put it right here because twenty foot radius would fill the whole opening. The problem is, it's not it's not a area; it's instantaneous. Oh, gotcha. So yeah, once it goes off, it goes off. So yep. I'm trying to take off as much. Well, yeah. It, basically, if I cast it there, the only effect it's going to have is it's going to make it difficult terrain until the end of next turn. Right. But I'm trying to take out as many skeletons, and it does a substantial amount of damage. Oh yeah, it does. So. Uh, I don't know what I have my... Do I have that set right? I do not. So ignore that. I don't have that set right. Okay. Um, so I cast it, and it should do... Actually, no, that is right. Uh, I need to. I just need to roll another D8 worth of damage. So it's okay. 12 bludgeoning and 20 cold, plus another D8 of bludgeoning. Oh, jeez. Nice. That's pretty good. <laughs> do that damage, though. So nice. Five damage. Oh, wow. wow. So, and that should be to the skeletons that are over here. Oh, wait, so these make they get a actually save. Uh, yeah, sixteen dex okay. save to take half of that. So we'll say these guys did not make it. Anybody who survives it, that area is also difficult to rain until the end of my next turn. Okay. Alright. And then, yeah, I'm gonna spend my bonus action trying to open the door. Alright, the door doesn't open. You know, you're still hitting that crab. Um, I can't, so we, can't so we can't see it from up here though, right? Correct. Right, so I wouldn't have targeted it okay. anyway. Okay, so you guys, you don't see this, but um, the... Uh, the super fast guy, he's like, huh, my buddy should be here by now, yeah? All right. Um, and <laughs> you guys can't really see. It's like a mysterious kind of looking dude. You can't really tell. Um, but <laughs> um, what kind of um, <laughs> what kind of person it is at all or what they look like. And I can't find a generic... Token. 
Is that your way of putting a mysterious potentially whatever Joe brings in next session? <laughs> so, can... <laughs> so there's like a mysterious guy that shows up and he like runs into right here and he like takes takes like a big hammer and like shoves it into the ground and he's like, I will hold them off. Kill the crab. There's a crab? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the skeletons, like, they, like, try, like, the undead, like, they try to get here, and they, like, can't seem to, like, get past. Ramos, go kill him and take his hammer. You know you want it. <laughs> All right, so Alpha, you go. Uh, I'm going to keep moving. You're there, so you know um, you're, like, stepping on, like, a huge crab underneath you, a large crab. Oh, really? Yeah. You're, like, stepping uh, on the crab legs and stuff. Oh, no. Uh, let me check on something real quick. Because this could get real awesome real quick. I can't cast uh, underwater, guys, so we gotta figure out some way to kill this motherfucker. Do -do -do -do. Suggestion. Mr. Crabman, you should give us all rides to the other side of the water. Um, or just suggest so, that he move like 10 feet to the south. That'd be... This is good. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think I'm going to give that a shot. Okay, JJ. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to cast Suggestion on the crab. Okay. Um, it's going to make a Wisdom saving throw. Well, first, Kuriako said it has to understand you. Does it? Yes. Oh. Do crabs speak common? <laughs> <laughs> Not speak. Understand. Understand common. Yeah. Okay, so first I'm going to cast Awaken. And then I'm going to cast <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I guess it's going to ruin my visibility, but I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, I'll stab down into the water and see if I can hit the crab. Okay, go for it. Yeah, I mean, apparently there's skirmishing there. There's kebabs. Make some kebabs. Yep, that'll 16. hit. Okay. Maybe 10 damage. Yeah. Okay. And then does a 21 hit. 21 will hit. Crab kebabs. Right. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to skitter off of the crab and try to get like kind of away from it a little bit. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. Durka? Also, uh, can you center the torch? Can you center the torch on me? Because yes, I'm trying to see if I can see the Hold exit on. that people are talking about. You're We're standing, standing on it. I am going to give okay. you control of the torch. Do you, do you see it, Billy? We're standing on it. There you go. You can control the torch now, Billy. Nice. Okay. I still don't see the exit, but at least I see what you're standing on. Yeah, we're standing okay. on a thing that looks like a battleship, but it's a door standing, like, in the middle of the water. Oh, like a freestanding door? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Like a door to nowhere, or a door that's a portal. Oh. Well, then I wouldn't go around the side of it. I would go right up to it. If that's okay. Okay. Try and help me open it. I'm sitting here tugging on the motherfucker, and it's not going anywhere. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I can't hear JJ or Corey anymore. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I, yeah, I can actually hear both of you now. Um, <laughs> that's weird. Let me just reset that real quick. Y'all go ahead. Okay. All right. Um, Durko, so what are you doing? Um, I can't see the crab. I don't know control water. Um. I guess Durka casts. I won't be able to see the crabs. There's not much she can do. So I guess she read. Uh, yeah, she. Uh, no, because that requires concentration. Damn it. Um. She casts. Oh, what's the range on that? Yeah, that's a long way. Um, she casts magic missile on that guy right there. Okay. Uh, pew. click him. There we go. All right. Pew pew pew. He takes damage. Okay. 
All right, Ramos goes and like stabs. He like stabs down, and he's like Rah, stabs down, and he he's like he thinks he hit something, and he like reaches down, and it's like um um he he like he's he's reaching down, and he's like it's dead, it's bit, it's dead, and so he like he's like starts to like. To like drag it, um, like he like starts to like drag it away, and then the mysterious guy is like, "Quick through the door, quick!" And then he like picks up his like huge hammer that he is like stuck in the ground and like starts like running towards you guys, Lorcan. Free item interaction. I'm gonna open the door. All right. So you open the door. It just seems like it magically easily like opens the door. There's like it's there's no resistance, and you like you can open these huge doors, and it's like it's like Stargate. You know, it's like it, like you know, it's like whipply, like wavy, like right in front of you. Like you can't see anything, and so you like it's like it almost is like emanating light. Like you can kind of see stuff past it. Like almost like a little bit of color it's like it's almost like you're looking through um like frosted glass except it's like glossy mm -hmm. and behind you you see um you know this like guy like running at you yelling go through the door and then like all kinds of undead like trailing behind him okay so when we got our answer from the person at the library they said that Parado was through this door, right? Yes. Like we, we we found out that this was the door, and then where the door was. So we feel pretty confident this is the door that leads to Parado. Yeah, um, I if I were an adventurer, I would probably believe that this door was the exact spot on the map, and it's a big ass magical door. I okay, so I would have words with JJ if my character died and this wasn't the door. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, since I've only used my free item interaction, I'm going to tell Durka, don't resist, and I'm going to grab her in a grapple. Okay. And then I'm going to jump through the door with her. Nice. Okay. I can't see shit now. It got dark. <laughs> it got real dark. Yeah. Right. So that's what the rest of us saw the whole time. That's the I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be like Geronimo. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so you guys go through. Whole bunch of bad guys are moving up. Alpha year ago. Alpha uh, when you, uh, when you... Uh, get to the chopper. <laughs> uh, Alpha when uh, you jump through, you have to say Alonzi. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll be like, oh, it'll cut me off before I get finished. Okay. <laughs> and then the rest of them jump through the door. And... Except for Marcus. Oh, <laughs> <Except> for... <laughs> turns had to, into a white. You had, had to rub it in. Except for Marcus. Oh, everything got bright. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus, who will? Yeah, I turn into a, I turn into a zombie, right? Not a white. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so Dirk, Dirk had got kind of got her wedge, except it's not in her. In her oh head. yeah, you're right. <laughs> Joe's character got turned into a zombie. That's kind of what Durka wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, that should that alter your, should that alter your email to me and JJ now? I mean, <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'll think about it wow. tomorrow. <laughs> the award for quickest character death. Jeez, man, that is that shit, was dude. Like what? Two sessions. I'm sorry, yep. Joe. How many How many hit points did you have? Like, how I had 68 hit points. Like to start. That was yeah, a lot. I was, he just got hit a and lot. I had an AC of nineteen. I was a tank. He got <laughs> he got crit by the huge ass rock throwing thing, yeah. which hurt, and he got hit by the fireball without being able to dodge it. And he got surrounded by white. And my mount got mind controlled or something. Dominated monster or dominate beast. Uh, yeah, like my my mount had that like you don't provoke tax of opportunity thing, and even I had something where I could use my reaction. To yep. make an attack of opportunity get disadvantaged. So it was like I could just go in and out of contact.